Joe Marie Payton growing up here in Miami, Carroll City High School. That's one of our, there it is. That's one of our hometown girls. Yes. And of course, it also felt, felt like our mom. That's you know, right. Mrs. Winslow on Family Matters, we grew up watching her. Urkel may have stolen the show, but she was the mom that we all wanted, and right? And she was the reason they created the show. Her stardom mm -hmm. on Perfect Strangers yeah. as the woman who operated, as Harriet Winslow, who operated the elevator, they said, we need to give her her own show. Yeah. It all started right here in South Florida. It all started on the streets of Miami. Her connection to this city and its connection to Dr. King really make her proud to be one of today's co-Grand Marshals. A parade for a pioneer led by a Grand Marshal recognized by generations. Yes, I am thrilled to be Grand Marshal. Uh, for a second time. I think the first time may have been 25 years ago, something like that. I think Alonzo Mourning had just joined the Heat when I was Grand Marshal first time. South Florida's own Joe Marie Payton is celebrating the legacy of Dr. King by honoring the meaning behind his message. I'm so excited that we are still celebrating something that's so important. Peace, equality, fairness, and all of that, especially at a time right now when I think we need it most, you know. Not just for us, those that are older like me, you know, but for our young people. It's so important for them to know that it is a peaceful environment that we need, a safe environment, an equal environment. And that's why I'm so excited that we are still celebrating the man who just exemplified what that all means. Jo Marie has been a familiar TV figure in millions of households across America. She first got her big break in the late 80s, playing Harriet Winslow on the ABC sitcom Perfect Strangers. But Carl... It was a small role at the time, but it made a big impact on audiences and soon cemented her as one of TV's favorite moms in the spin-off Family Matters. Years later, she was introduced to a new generation of young viewers as the sassy sugar mama in Disney's animated series, The Proud Family. The Proud Family, the character of Sugar Mama, who's a little grandmother that everybody loves, that will tell you just like it is. But if you ask Joe Marie, all of her on-screen characters take a page from her personal life. Those characters, Eric, really derive from what I learned from my grandmother and my mother. And that was nurturing. And I'm one of nine. I had six brothers and two sisters. I'm the second oldest. And so what I was taught is what I believe, you know, and my mother was my greatest, she was my greatest inspiration. She still is even in heaven because there's still certain things that I remember that she taught me to do and not to do that I live by. And in that being part of my foundation, it helps me with any character that I do. Way before Hollywood came calling, Jo Marie was growing up right here in South Florida. Born August 3rd, 1950, her family relocated from Georgia when she was just three months old. I'm actually from Miami. I graduated from Carroll City <laughs> Senior High School. It was during her years at Carroll City High School that Dr. King's life was tragically cut short. I remember specifically in 1968 where I was when Dr. King was assassinated. And uh, so it always holds a special meaning for me that he was so young and so powerful and, and the things that he, that he died for, that he lived for and he died for are still so important to us today. And all uh, said, so yes, to be home and to be able to celebrate it again in the longest and oldest parade in the world. She says it's significant and and fitting for the parade to carry on his legacy in Miami, the place where he once practiced and preached the blueprint for his iconic I Have a Dream speech. So to be a part of, to be in existence and to be in this city that he did that monumental speech that he rehearsed that speech in about I Have a Dream, you know, it's just wonderful. I am so jealous. Yeah, I was on vacation when Eric got to do that <laughs> interview. I, I mean, so much of our youth is yes. growing up with her, and I love seeing her again. So what's the plan next? Well, she said she's going to uh, maybe coming back into our homes with a cooking show. Mm -hmm. I mean, Harriet Winslow's cooking sounds delicious. I'm watching. I'm Look, watching and I'm eating. She's an icon. She is one of our own. The pride she has in carrying the banner for South Florida, the banner for Miami, is just so evident. She's hoping to inspire every single one of the young people that are here, letting them know that they too could chase their dreams, they too could become a big time TV star like Harriet Winslow, Joe Marie Payton. I was a big, big fan. I was, I was standing a little bit, fangirling as they say. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah.